Hello, I'm going to show you a cool feature that's been added to Google Meet, and that is adding a co-host to a Google Meet video conference. So this was only available to certain versions of Google over the years, and now they've expanded it to everyone who is Google for education. So you should have these features soon. They should be finished rolling out over our spring break. So you should see them when you get back. But this is a really helpful option by adding in a co-host to a meeting. They can start the meeting if you're running late. They also have the ability to share their screen, to manage the chats, to mute people, and leverage some of those other features that you only have as the host. So it's great if you're co-teaching for like a virtual learning day, any learning day, if you're doing any type of team or grade level conference with parents or families or an IEP meeting, it's just a really great resource. So what you'll do is you'll go to Google Meet in new meeting, and then I like to do schedule a Google Calendar just because it makes it a little bit easier. And once I've done that, I'm going to be taken to the screen where I can name my meeting. It already has Google Meet added here. So this is the link I'll be sharing with people. Um, but the cool thing is that this little video call button is where you'll toggle some of those options, including adding in co-hosts. So I'll click that settings button. And then the first thing I want to do is make sure I'm on the host control screen and I'll toggle on host management. It should be turned on by default for you in our BCS Google domain, but if it's not, make sure you do that. I usually like to turn on this host must join before anyone else as well, but that's just really up to you. Next, I'll click guests and then down here in co-host is where I can add in any type of co-host that I want. So usually you'll enter in their email, save it, and then they're good to go. And I always like to invite them to the meeting too. 